Hello and welcome to my video on the Ultra Tools. Alright. Let's start off with the Athame. The Athame is a magical dagger that's used to direct energy when casting a spell or doing a ritual. Its direction is south and its element is fire. I have two athames. This one. And this one. Okay. The next tool I'm going to show you is the wand. The wand is a basically like the wand. It it's used to direct energy when doing spells or ritual. Its direction is east and element is air. I have two wands. I have a wood one and a plastic one. And yes, I do use them both. And the, this one is black. It used to be one of those dip pens, but the tip broke, so I just, it already looked like a wand, so I turned it into my wand and got another dip pen. <laughs> Anyways, next one is the bow line. It's basically another knife used to cut magical herbs and other stuff during rituals and spells. Its direction is north and element is earth. I use a um, knife, just a regular knife, like a regular pocket knife for it. This is based for my bow line. I didn't buy a fancy one. <clears throat> okay. Altar cloth. It's used to cover an altar. It's basically an altar cover. Okay. The altar tile. It can be a pentagram or other symbol and is used at the center of the altar. I use a pentagram. Now the pentagram is a five pointed star used to symbolize the five elements fire, water, air, earth, and spirit. And this is my my altar tile. Okay. And yes, I'm going in alphabetical, not alphabetical. Or al okay, like I said, pentagram is the five-pointed star used to represent the five elements: fire, water, air, earth, and spirit. An altar. Your sacred space for your where you put your ritual tools on and where you can do rituals and spells. In fact, I prefer to do it at my altar. Okay, candle. Candles are basically there's different candle colors. Each represent a different um. Each can be used for different types of spells. And there are three, white, black, and red, that can be used for any spell. <sighs> right now I have a white one on my altar. The candle's direction is south, and its element is fire. Anointing stick. I don't have one. It's usually used to anoint candles and stuff with oil. Its direction is south and element is fire. But like I said, I don't have an anointing stick. And at this time, I don't really have any oils. Book of Shadows. It's basically a book of spells and info. Mostly pertaining to magic, but also like planting tips and other things. 
which is different from a grimoire, which it only has spells and potions. A book of shadows has spells, potions, home remedies, different recipes for incense and stuff, beliefs, all kinds of info on magic, and other stuff. That's the basic difference. And here's my book of shadows. Don't judge me. Yes, I know I have both a white step and a red pentagram, so uh, I like using both. Anyways, then there's the besom, which is used to sweep away negative energy. Its element is air and direction is east. I don't have a besom at this time. Okay, the bell. This is a be my bell. Um, its direction is west and element is water. Um, and is used in magic to basically rend your sacred space and other places of negative energy, like you would using salt or sage stick or a, a vessel. All of those, you see, only the bell, its direction is west, element is water, the besom, its element is, e its direction is east and element is air, um, what else did I say? Oh yeah, and a smudging stick, usually made of sage, is a which I actually have one of those, I'll show you in a minute. Its direction is south and element is fire. Cauldron. I don't have one of those right now, but it's a pot used for cooking, making brews, lighting incense in, and other things in both magic and actually cooking as well. As well as bringing some things up. Its element is west. I mean, element is water. Direction is west. Ah, incense. There's many different types of incense. Here's one. It's a dragon's blood one. Each can be used for all kinds of spells. Now, of course, Nag Champa and Dragon's Blood, both, their in both those incense and those oils can be used for any kind of spell. Incense holder. It basically holds incense. And seeing as I have dirt in mine, its direction is north and element is earth. Whilst the incense direction is east and element is air. Chalice. Here's my chalice. It has skulls on it, just like my altar cloth does. Um, it's a magical cup that can be used as a focus point for energy. It can be used in rituals and spells for drinking out of when it requires it, and for holding liquids and other things pertaining liquids and spells and rituals. Its direction is west and element is water. Pestle and mortar. It's used for grinding ingredients for spells and rituals and potions and incense and infusions and herbs and other stuff. Here's mine. Its direction is west. An element is water. The candle holder. Seeing as my candle holder is a, um, in the form of a cup, its direction is West Elm is water, whilst the candle's 
direction is south and an element is fire. Now there are a lot of other tools. Oh yeah. Also can and here's my candle snuffer by the way. Like I said, candle sniffer. Used to put out candles. Its direction is north, element is earth. And there are many other tools used in magic. Now, I'm going to show you my. I'm going to show you my smudging stick. This is a smudging stick that can be used for getting rid of evil entities. I also have a collection of books and yeah. Anyways, those are basically the tools, main tools I use in which one? Oh yeah, and then I'll, I'll eventually do a video on um, divination tools, but that'll be later. But before I do that, I'm gonna do a video on the diff on the candle colors and on incense and um, oils. Well, thank you for watching my video. Listen to me and have a nice night.